Caitlin Matheson and today we're going to have some fun in the kitchen making a beautiful rainbow cake. This is something that is super easy so you can make at home for your own kitties and be looking like a professional. Today I've got a vanilla cake and this can be any cake of your choice. I've done a vanilla cake with two layers of vanilla buttercream filling. I like the height of this one but you can obviously do whatever you prefer. I've got three bowls of beautiful homemade vanilla buttercream, which I'm gonna color shortly with our Color Mill food colorings. These are an oil-based food coloring, so these are perfect for either buttercream applications or you can also use them in chocolate. So these are a universal food coloring. They are on the more expensive end, but they are something that I always have as a pantry staple because if you can use it for multiple purposes, like chocolate, ganache, buttercream, there's all different sorts of applications, they are perfect to have in your pantry. I also have a piping bag with a piping tip ready to go. Once I mix up my colours, then I can fill that one. I've got a big bowl of rainbow sprinkles because of course, birthdays are no fun without rainbow sprinkles, so we've got to have some colour in there. I've also got just a standard offset spatula. This will be a go-to toolkit item if you are a cake decorator. Otherwise, of course, you can use a knife or something that you have at home if you don't have these professional tools. I have a standard scraper, which is fantastic just for smoothing the sides. If you want to leave it a plain smooth ice cake, this is going to be your go-to toolkit item. But today I'm going to do some fancier decorating with you. Um, this is a shaped scraper. So these have a curved zigzag edge. And this is amazing for someone that's not a professional baker. This will give you a professional looking cake with very little to, to no pretty much effort. These are from our friends at Cutter Craft, which you can purchase online. So these are perfect at the moment. If you can't leave the house, you can just grab one of these online and people will be wondering where you got that cake from in no time. For a professional, you need a trusty turntable. This is a go-to toolkit if you want a very, very smooth cake. I know not all people have these at home. So if you do have a lazy Susan, these, that would be perfect too, just to make sure we can keep scraping while that's turning to get a continuous edge. So I'm gonna start by just giving these color mill colors a little shake. When I do rainbow, I always do yellow, pink, and blue because I find they mix together the most seamless and nice on the cake and we don't get brown. So I'm gonna give them a shake and then just give them a few drops. They really only need a small squeeze each because it is a little amount of buttercream and they are quite strong. Now I'm just gonna mix those up and then we're gonna use those to ice the sides of the cake. So of course you could just do one color if that's what you got at home. But you know me, I love rainbow, so we're gonna make it extra special for you today. Of course this isn't traditional rainbow, but if you're like me and just baking for fun, then we really don't need to mix seven different colors of icing right now. We're gonna add some rainbow sprinkles, so don't stress, it's gonna be rainbow enough. So you have a few options here. You can either try to just use a knife and put this on in stripes around the cake, or if you do have some professional piping bags like I do here today, I prefer to use these just because I get some precision. Of course, if you don't have access to piping bags, you can use Ziploc bags, but these are available in the local supermarkets in the baking aisle, so have a look next time you're there. So now I've got my three colors ready in the piping bags. You can obviously do any colors you like, but these are my preference for a little bit lighter because we're gonna be adding some really colorful sprinkles. So you just don't want those colors to clash too much. So I've got a bit more pastel on my buttercream and then we're gonna add that really bright, fun sprinkle at the end. So you can choose what color you'd like to start with. So I'd like to start with pink on the bottom. So I'm just gonna snip that piping bag. And then what we're gonna do is pipe rings around the bottom and we're going to try and make these even as possible. Don't stress if they're not exactly perfect because at the end of the day, once we put that nice textured edge on it, it's going to look beautiful. So then I'm going to go with yellow after the pink and I'm just going to keep applying that. Don't worry about the thickness of this icing because we are going to scrape that down, so don't worry about that. In the end, it's going to be perfect. Alrighty, and now we're just gonna go through with our blue. And then we'll obviously have to add some on top as well. So 
I'm just going to fill in the top with some blue buttercream just to the edge and then I don't have any more blue so I'm just going to fill in with some yellow. So this is the beauty of the top, it's going to be covered in sprinkles so don't stress too much. Now I'm just going to take my offset spatula and smooth out that top. So I always start with the top and then wipe off any excess as we go around. So obviously a turntable here is very, very handy. So this is just rough because we're going to come back in the end with that, so don't stress too much. Then I'm going to take my straight scraper and just hold it on an angle to the side and start spinning my turntable. The most important thing here is that you have a very straight hand. If your hand is off to an angle, that's where you're going to have problems. So as you can see here, you can produce a beautiful striped cake with a straight edge scraper. So if that's what you're looking for, that's perfect. Keep it like that. But today I'm gonna go back in with the textured scraper just to give it an extra bit of jazz. I'm also just gonna put my scraper on the edge of the board and we're gonna just turn it just to clean up that bottom edge a little bit. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna make more mistakes when we clean up with our textured scraper. So we'll do a big clean up at the end and make sure that final edge is perfect. So now I'm gonna take my scraper from Cutter Craft and she has many, many designs of these, but this is her new one out and it's one of my favorites. It makes like a step up edge design. So they are double sided, so you have different heights, but I do like the smallest one best. And it's the exact same as holding a normal scraper. What you're gonna do is just hold it directly against that cake board on the side there. And as you can see, you get a beautiful texture with little to no effort and no one would even know. These tools are an investment, so once you do have them, they'll definitely pay themselves off for the time that you're gonna save for doing highly decorated designs. And you can just stop every now and then and just wipe off your scraper before you do a final coat, just to make sure it's nice and clean. You'll notice that the top colour will always push down as you scrape and the more you scrape it push down lower. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that but I think that's fine because I'm going to be adding lots of sprinkles on top. So now I'm just going to go through and clean up the top edge. If you wanted this to be a perfect straight edge, I'd refrigerate this now because my buttercream is quite soft. So I'd refrigerate it and then cut off that edge but I'm not too fussed because um, I'm just going to be eating this one at home today. So. If you'd like it to be a perfect straight edge, definitely refrigerate it first. So now I'm just going to take a microfiber clean cloth. We have these just for the cakes. And then just have your cloth really close to your finger there and push right to the edge just to clean up that buttercream off the board. It's really important to do this before you add the sprinkles on because you don't want the sprinkles to stick to the buttercream on the board because it can look quite messy. Alrighty, now we're done cleaning up, we can get sprinkling, the fun part. So this is up to you, if you like a really neat band, you can add a little band around the bottom, but I'm quite liking the fun scattered sprinkle at the moment. So all you get to do is throw sprinkles at the cake, pretty much. <laughs> Once I have quite a scattered sprinkle, I like to just concentrate a little more down the bottom so you get like a nice gradient look. So I just go in and just sprinkle a little bit more. Obviously it's ideal to have a tray underneath, but all my trays are busy getting baked at the moment, so we've just got to use what we've got, and that's the bench. So I might have to do a bit of sweeping after. Now I'm just going to clean off the excess sprinkles, and then we can put some piping on the top and sprinkle once again. Now I'm just going to take a piping bag. For me, these are my favourite. They are a disposable bag, but I find that reusable bags are quite unhygienic. Working in many bakeries before, I have seen what they end up smelling like after they've had butter in them for years. Um, it is quite impossible to clean them to the standard that I like. So I've got one of those with a metal piping tip, so we'll wash and reuse that because the metal can easily clean. I'm just going to use my leftover buttercream that I had from earlier. So I'm just going to put in three different sections, some yellow, pink and blue, and then we can pipe some rainbow swirls on top. It's going to be beautiful. All 
Alrighty, so you want to be resourceful with your icing. So if you do have any colours left over from every, any projects, keep them for piping, especially when you can combine them into one bag. You can see how beautiful that's going to look with a rainbow swirl coming out. So piping obviously is due to personal preference, but I'm going to keep it nice and easy today for the beginners out there because this is a cake really easy for everyone learning. So I'm just going to pipe in a row around the edges. So I'm just going to squeeze and do some nice little rosettes. If you'd like also, you can also fill in that gap further and make it a cute little ring around the top. Now we're just gonna generously add some colorful sprinkles on top. Of course, use up whatever you got in the pantry, but this is my favorite blend, so I thought I'd bring it out for you guys today. And then we can add some more in the middle just for some extra sugar goodness. Yum. Of course, you can just leave it like this because it's a beautiful, fun celebration cake. And I'm sure if you're gifting this to someone else, they'll be absolutely stoked to have such a colorful gift on their birthday. If you want to jazz it up, of course you can. My favorite way is to add an acrylic topper. It just adds a special touch to any cake, especially if you go like a silver or gold acrylic. Because it's mirrored, it gives it that really classy look and you can get them in so many amazing fonts these days. So this is one of my favorite fonts and I think it's just beautiful and classy. So all you have to do is stick that one in there. And this is perfect to do while the cake is soft because then if you do have any long letters like the Y, that can stick straight into the buttercream and it just adds to the look. So this is the perfect way to finish off a small little cake and just make it look like you made that extra effort this birthday. Thanks for watching my video today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing some new techniques with some new handmade local businesses products. I love featuring small business products and I love trying out new things. So if you see anything that you like online and you think I should try it in a video next, leave a comment below and of course, always like and subscribe because we'll see you next week with some more baking fun. Thanks for joining me today.